the most amazing thing was the transformation of like when I went in, when I got offered the job and I went in and what they did with me. I mean, I think I was in hair and makeup for longer than anybody, an hour and a half. They took that long to make you know, it ugly. To make so it hard. Hard. I, I know. I mean, they bleached out my eyebrows. They gave me freckles, blood capillaries, Your brown. Teeth. Well, that was yeah, my teeth idea. Was my favorite part. They, well, they kind of did it a little, and I'm like, okay, if we're going to do this, just go all out and just make them <laughs> rotten. You know? And, and what was so fun about it is that, you know, a lot of times uh, you, you kind of, you're, you're conscious of the camera and like, what angle's gonna kind of look good or whatever. I mean, I could just go out all out ugly and make the like ugliest faces and do the, it, it was it was so freeing as an actress. Um, um, and I love playing those kind of character roles. So that was really cool. And, and just being a warrior. And like you said, like I got to learn how to ride a, a bike, um, shoot guns. It was amazing, amazing experience. Just like a real soldier in a real war. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I'd forget sometimes, I would forget that I looked like that and my teeth looked so rotten. And like, so I'd be talking to people at lunch and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> <They're just> like <laughs> We'd have a lot of like, we'll call them extracurricular parties where people would gather from the crew and whatnot and you would show up and nobody would nobody recognize, recognize me. Nobody would recognize me. I went to the first Christmas party that we had and I went in and I was, I was kind of new. I'd only been on the show for like, you know, two months or something. But everybody had always seen me as Crazy Lee. So I show up. And nobody's talking to me, and I'm like, oh my god, nobody likes me. <laughs> I went to the bar, and I'm like, hey guys, and I was just like, hey, oh, hey, thinking I'm a fan or something. And then finally, I got in the car because I was, I was gonna leave. I'm like, everybody hates me on the show. Nobody likes me. <laughs> oh my god, I want to die. And then I, I got in the car, and as I was leaving, the DP was like, Luciana, crazy Lee, and I'm like, yeah. I was like, nobody knew you were here. <laughs> So I realized that nobody really recognized. I think it was you, only you. No, I recognize you. Recognize. Come on, I got you. I got you. I had my own backstory as to why she was the way she was and why she let herself go like that. Um, and I, and I, I would have loved to see what the writers would have come up with as to why, because I feel like Crazy Lee didn't have a youth, and well, that's my story is that she never had a youth and. I got that from the last episode when I when I passed. How you know that line when she said, "I want to go to Disneyland when I get out of here," and that kind of made me understand her a little more. But then I died, so it couldn't <laughs> go anywhere further. But I would have loved to see uh, the vulnerable side of Crazy Lee more and um, just what her backstory was and you know how she turned out to, to be the way that she was.